Welcome to another edition of Achievement College, my step-by-step -step guide to getting you that gamer score. This is Aussie Gamer 17, and if you don't already know me, I do 100% walkthroughs and achievement guides here on the channel. I call it Achievement College, and today we are playing Breath Edge. This is part one of my series where we're going to cover the entire game. We're going to 100% the game. We're going to grab all of the achievements. Uh, now, there is a little caveat on that. There's one achievement, which is for beating this game in under seven hours. But if you want to get all the rest of the achievements, it's probably impossible to beat the game in under seven hours. Uh, however, at the time of this recording, that achievement is actually glitched and the timer resets after 24 hours. So we're going to play through our first full playthrough. It's going to probably take us somewhere between 15 to 20 hours. At the end there, you've got a choice. You can either sit and let the game idle for a few hours to to clock the uh, to run the clock up over 24 hours and then beat the game and get it all done in one playthrough. Or you can beat the game in 15 to 20 hours, then do another quick run through the game in under seven hours. I'm going to be, uh, because it's still available, I'm going to be using that clock glitch. Um, I'm not going to do a video on a whole other speed run. There's plenty of speed run videos out there on this game. This series is about showing you how to get all the other missable achievements because there are a lot, a lot of missable achievements and we're going to run through how to beat the game. Now, another thing to note is I have practiced this game. This is not a blind playthrough. I've played this game on two other accounts. I've practiced what we're going to do. In saying that, uh, I am going to change things up a little bit compared to my practice runs because I've learned a lot from my practice runs and I want to put some of those learnings into practice here in this run. Uh, Look, that pretty much explains it. If you've got any questions, put them in the comments down below. If you want to see more guides like this, please come and support me over on Patreon and my other social media links. They're all in the video description. Enough blabbering from me. Let's get into it. Going straight into a new game. Now, you do need to play on... Well, you could play on permadeath, I suppose. Uh, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, but if we want to get achievements, we need to play on standard or impossible. Uh, let's play on standard. And if, if you don't already know, guys, you'll get an idea of it right here. This game is full of some really cool uh, humor as well. Look at that. Fancy opening credits. Twenty-two awards that other games received. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys, we're going to get our first missable achievement right now. Here, you can choose whatever you want. Uh, I'm a family-friendly channel, so we're going for yay censorship. Turns the smoke into a carrot. Um, Here you are again. But we are going to get our first missable achievement as I try not to talk over this guy. Remind him, R2D3. You tell us all you know from the beginning. No lie. Confirm. Now, this first choice, you don't get a choice. You have to press A to spit. Now, next time they ask you, you are going to get the choice, guys. We need to spit at him at least three times for our first missable achievement. You tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fired to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm. Make sure you press A to spit or whatever the button is for you. You tell us all from the beginning or violence. You tell us that you fly to the funeral, but the liner explode radicals of green universe. Confirm. And spit again. You tell us all from the beginning. Now or you'll violence. see the in-game achievement pop the there, funeral, which means we do get the achievement. But green universe. Confirm. The actual achievement will not pop straight away. It'll pop after the little scene we're about to watch. So pressing B this time. You 
this has got some real cool humor in it guys i'm really excited to go through it with you and actually pay more attention when i'm recording for those that already know me you know what i do I skip as much story as possible when I'm doing my practice runs because I like to experience as much as it, as much of it as I can firsthand here with you guys. Although a lot of this stuff I don't think you can skip anyway. I think you can skip this. I'm not going to try though, just in case. You know that feeling where you're scared to push a button? In a cutscene? Uh oh. Ah. Uh, goodbye, I'm guessing, family member. So basically, we were riding on a giant ship, I believe it's called the Liner, and it has crashed. Now, I've described this game when people have asked as subnautica but in space and there is a super 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 cool reference to subnautica later in this game guys you wait till you see it oh it is right near the end you of the game to me logo was impossible could not see the shuttle from space tell truth no lie confirm okay now you don't get a choice you got to press b tell him And that is where the achievement pops that we got uh, for spitting three times, guys. Okay, as soon as you are in control, yes, we do have a a uh, bit of a sidekick with us to the world of space for the rest of the playthrough, and that is a chicken for some reason. I will do my best not to talk over dialogue like that, but it's really tricky when you're doing walkthroughs like this. Okay, I'm gonna. You just press A to clear this off. You've gotten into a non-standard situation. You can walk over here, look at the gum, and press A to take the gum. And this will be our next achievement, but this one's not missable. And we press B or hold B, sorry, to plug the leak uh, with the chicken. That doesn't work. <laughs> I just wanted to do that. But what you will do is you press the start button, what I call the start button, go into your inventory. Press B on the gum, and then attach it to left, right, up, or down on the D-pad. Exit the inventory. Press the corresponding button that you attach the gum to. Um, we're going to take the chicken back out, and we're going to plug the leak with the gum and get this story-related achievement. You've almost won. Almost one. Remember that the funerary spacesuit isn't designed for long-term use of persons or animals in outer space. It is recommended to immediately call for help on the interphone, improve the spacesuit, or become depressed. <laughs> or become depressed. Let's not do that. Okay, but what we do want to do is go inside our starting shuttle, what we're going to call this. And before we do anything else, uh, I need to turn off the music. Uh, we can't grab that first aid kit until we scan it. We don't have a scanner yet. What we can loot is the pillow. And we can grab our first blueprint here. Uh, interacting with certain uh, materials in the game world or actual blueprints in the game world will give us blueprints for us to make things. Now, for those that don't already know, we need to um, gather heaps and heaps of crafting materials in this game in order to make certain things, certain tools, in order to progress the story and progress the game further. Our first blueprint is this drill. Pick that up here. And make sure you press B to take it, and then you'll get the blueprint for the drill. And if you go to this thing called a processor, this is where we make a lot of the things that we get the blueprints for. And as you can see over on the right-hand side, these are the blueprints. The left-hand side, pressing Y to swap between uh, our resources. That The left-hand side is the resources that you've got in order to make those things. If we go across to the drill, we can't make it. Uh, down the bottom in red, if you've got the right um, ingredients, that those will show up in green. We need refined metal, we need a battery, and we need thick electrical tape in order to make the drill. We'll be making that a little bit later. For now, we can press start to exit out of there. Now, there's all sorts of things that you can pick up in the game world, like these pictures here. 
uh, this newspaper, stuff like that. None of those are required for achievements, and I'm going to try and stick to things that are required for either progressing the game or achievements. They're all cool little funny story things, so feel free to look around. You can pick up things that I don't pick up in the guide, especially these sorts of things because they don't take up room in your inventory. Over here, so we did pick up the pillow. I don't think I really mentioned that. That's just crafting material. It turns it into fabric. If we go over to this corner over here, we've got a back scratcher. The only thing that this is good for is it gives you a blueprint for a grabber. So take that and you'll get the blueprint for a grabber. Grabbers are used to obtain certain crafting materials. And on the bed here, we've got rubber. That'll give us the electrical tape blueprint and also give us a bit of rubber that we use to make electrical tape. And we can pick up some more fabric. If you take damage and you need to heal, you can rest at the bed. It does a forward, uh, speed up time, which will make you hungrier and thirstier. So speaking of which, we do have to eat and drink in order to stay alive in this game. And you'll also see our breath. Uh, we've currently got 75 air. As soon as we step outside, that will start depleting. Uh, and we need to obviously make sure it doesn't go to zero. Otherwise, your health starts uh, going down as well. And we can also pick up this alcohol here. I don't think I ever really use alcohol in my walkthrough, uh, but that does give us the blueprint for it anyway. Uh, you can pick up a VHS tape and play it in there, but once again, not linked to achievements. And one other thing of note is a container here where we can store 80 items. I don't believe I'll be using that particular storage unless I change my, my gameplay. Our first objective is to use the interphone or get depressed. You choose. I'm going to choose interphone. Uh, interacting with this, which is the interphone, will tell us that we need to go check the antenna. Can't use interphone. We can't adjust the interphone. Can't do anything else. That means we need to head out into space, guys, and find some resources. Oh, and check the antenna while we're out there. But first, we're going to find resources. Let's do it. Okay, and what we're going to do, guys, by going outside, we're gonna, we've only got 75 air, so we're going to make small, um, small trips outside and all the way back here each time to get our breath back. This first trip is going to be a, a little tricky. We're going to head all the way. We're going to turn right straight away and find this blue line heading left to right. And we're going to head just past it. We're going to find a toilet. And in that toilet, we're going to find something called a shawarma. That is going to give us a blueprint for something called an accelerator. It gives us a bit of a boost. The sooner we make that, the better because we can move a bit faster. All right, so head to this toilet. Pick up the shawarma. I'm not even sure if that's how you say it. Get the blueprint related to that. Turn back towards our shuttle. But on the way, we're going to stop right here and we're going to get something called a wire. Pick up the wiring and in this toilet here, we're going to find three yellowish water. Grab those three sort of blots and you can also examine a dead hamster if you want. Take that. Sorry, I'm talking over this guy, but we are in a hurry. And now we are going to head back to our shuttle that I almost completely missed. Back to our shuttle and replenish our air. I recommend maybe doing a manual save between each trip just to make sure you don't stuff things up here, guys. Okay, now we're going to head back outside. I'll just quickly show uh, our blueprint for the accelerator. We need the shawarma, which we just picked up. We need the yellowish water, which we picked up, but we need refined metal. To get the blueprint for refined metal, we just have to pick up metal, which is a resource you're going to get very, very used to. We're going to head outside and we're going to pick up we need at least two of them. We're just going to pick up a few on our way to our actual objective, which is for uh, fixing or checking the antenna. So we're going to pick up a couple of metal on our way out to the antenna. And you see the antenna here. Close call. We are going to go up to it, antenna. hold A Careful to adjust the antenna. Radio Oops, radio we broke it. Broken the antenna. And we're going to head back inside. Activation codes, which are encrypted in the memory just of the checking field. for it's some more attack. metal on the way, but I don't think we're going to find any... All right, go back inside. Just get some air. Head back outside, and we're going to go to the established communications objective, which is around to the right this time. 
These are big giant balls of metal, but we need a something called a scrapper in order to break them down and turn them into bits of it metal like the steering wheel. You that we can then use. So we're going to uh, examine the steering wheel here and then go back inside, guys. All that's left is to build a cryptographic debugging station and reconfigure the interphone using these codes. Which Making sure you've got at least two or three of that metal. We got the wire that we got on our first trip outside. And you'll see, completing those two objectives gave us the blueprint for what the game is at the moment calling a debugging station, a cryptographic debugging station. That's our current objective. So as long as you picked up the two bits of metal and a piece of wire that we did in our first trip, you can now press B on here to create the debugging station. Create that, exit the menu, go into your inventory, Press B to bind the uh, debugging station to a slot on your D-pad. Choose wherever you want to put it. And then press, uh, get out of the menu and then press that corresponding button to get the debugging station out and watch what happens. If you're sure that this is exactly what was on the blueprint, then try to reconfigure the receiver. If you have any doubts concerning it, then you will eventually suffer an electric shock and then your space doesn't will automatically take quite look like it was meant to, does it? Company. Thank you for choosing the Global Funeral Agency. Not quite. All right, and then we're going to use the uh, debugger to debug the interphone. Uh, pressing by holding B. Yeah, that's how you do it. That's how I fix things too, usually. Okay, and now press A to call for help. And where's my narrator the gone? Arrival type oh, there it is. Estimated lifespan by 4,369 years. You need to get to the extraction point broken, yourself, then. getting past the radiation. However, it's impossible to do this with your current skills. To increase your level, you need to create some crap imposed by the developers. <laughs> create some crap imposed by the developers of the game. So if you head over to your processor, and we go over to our our um, blueprints, crap imposed by the developers. We're going to need Two refined metal, uh, we're going to need another wire, and we're going to need some thick electrical tape. Now, we've got the blueprint for the refined metal now. That requires four metals, so we've got to go collect those. We also needed the thick electrical tape, uh, which is here. We need two rubber. We've only collected one so far, and we need to collect another wire, obviously. We've already collected one. Uh, and do I have the print for the handy scrapper? We're going to make another handy scrapper. That is priority number one right now. Let's head outside and get some metal. Now, you're going to get all these um, text messages for the rest of the playthrough from someone called Babe. They're going to show up on screen. They're not going to really matter. You can read them as they come through, but they're not really going to be important until much, much later in the game. Communication only works on reception, which gives a good reason not to respond and not to be distracted, despite the objections of the hormonal system. Okay, whatever he said. All right, so we just head back outside and we look for... See, these big piles of metal, we can't break down. We need these little bits of metal for now. Let's get one, most of the passengers of the liner died. two, might be the biggest catastrophe and the of three. Lines, the reasons for which you are can't see any more. Grab them. Now, yours might... I'm not sure exactly how random all the loot is. I can see another couple here. Just grab as many as we can find of these loose ones for now. And then we'll go back inside and we're going to make a scrapper. Actually, if we can get one or two more, we might make more than one scrapper. Uh, hang on, how many did I grab? We need to go back inside. I'm always concerned about our, our air situation. We'll make at least one scrapper. Okay, I can make two scrappers. So we're going to make two scrappers. So make sure you get at least six metal. Make two scrappers. And we can't make the accelerator yet, can we? We need refined metal. So we're going to need a whole bunch of metal. And then we can make the accelerator as well. Oh, wait. Is my breath full? Yes, it is. Before you go outside, sorry about that, guys, is what you want to do is now equip one of the scrappers. So pop it in one of your um, two inventory slots. I'm going to actually equip both of them. Uh, and then use one of them and head outside and just destroy some of these metal thingamajiggies. 
and we're just going to collect as much metal as we can. See, you break it down, sometimes it turns into two, sometimes it'll turn into three lots of metal, something like that. Break down another one. Grab that, grab that. Some more in here. Oh, that's just a little loose one. Grab that. We're just going to find as much metal as we can. Oh, that's some fabric. May as well grab that while we're here. Oh yeah, and over here we've got a whole heap of other goodies. So, we're going to grab some water bottles. We're not hungry or thirsty yet, but we will be. This is all food. We well, may as well grab this alcohol. Not sure that I'll need it. Oh, what's that? Oh, that is a carrot top. We don't need that. Okay, and we're starting to run out of air, so I'm going to head back. I forgot we don't have our accelerator yet. So we're going to head back as quickly as we can. Wait for our air to refill. We're not really going to do anything in here other than replenish our health, our air, I mean. And we can go back out. And what I want to show you now, actually, is I saw this uh, this thing here. What's, it, what's the game actually call it? A tape recorder. You can break it with the scrapper and it will turn into little goodies. All sorts of goodies there. And I want to head back where we just were. And you'll see these containers. We can break these containers. And we'll get all sorts of goodies inside those as well. All sorts of goodies. And you'll see these um, plastic things protruding sometimes. You can break those and that'll just give you a piece of plastic. Let's break some more of these containers while we're here. And just keep an eye on your air. And hang on. What's this one? I can't break. Yes, I can. I can break this console. Oh, I only had to hit it once and we need to head back already. Back we go. We're going to keep making trips outside and just collecting as much stuff as we can for a little bit. And while, while we're at it, guys, I'm going to tell you exactly the amount of loot that I'm trying to grab before we continue. I want to have, uh, if you go across to resources, I want two batteries. So we've already got enough batteries. I want to have 48 metal. That's going to be the main one. We want 48 metal. We want the shawarma, which we already got. We want three yellow water, which we got from that toilet area. Uh, also want to have three wires. I think that includes the one we already used. So we need at least two more wires. We're going to need six rubber. We've only got three rubber so far. And we are going to need two pairs of scissors, which we'll find a little bit later as well. Okay, so let's head back out. I'm going to head exactly where I just was because I know there's some more goodies that I left behind. Um, we really don't venture or can't venture or shouldn't venture much more, much further than this without our accelerator or extra air. But I do want to grab as much of this metal as I can. Yeah, 48 metal, what we're going to need to make a few of these things that we're going to need right here at the start. So, oh, and here's some more wires. I said we needed more wire, so let's grab those. Two wires there, and let's grab this plastic as well, just like the other one. It thankfully automatically adds to your inventory. We'll grab that fabric. Let's grab this plastic. You don't have to chase after it. Oh, we've got this uh, radio here that we can break. That ice, I don't want the ice. That's to make water and stuff. You're going to find that we don't really need to do that. Oop. Oxygen is not unlimited. That's true. Quick. Lucky it warns you at, a, at 20, um, I don't know if it's seconds or 20 breaths, whatever you want to call it. Now, before we go back outside, we've actually got enough goodies to make the accelerator now. Uh, if you have a look here, the accelerator needs the shawarma, the yellow water, which we've already got. It needs a refined metal and we've got the blueprint for refined metal. It's just uh, for metal. So let's create the refined metal, which will then allow us to create the accelerator. Create that as well, and then equip it, and I'll show you what it actually does. So exit out of there, go into your menu, and press B on the accelerator. Now you are now wearing that accelerator. And if we head outside, uh, hang on, first I want to just destroy this, get some more metal.
What you want to do is point yourself where you want to go. I'm looking for some metal. That'll be right. I can't find what I want to find. And hold the right trigger and you'll speed all the way through. You'll see there that our normal speed at full pace without an accelerator is six. Uh, using my second scrapper now, the first one. Um, I didn't explain that actually. They all have a durability. Once that durability hits zero, the uh, item is completely gone, guys. So hold the right trigger and our speed will go up to about 11 or 12 meters per second. Without the accelerator, we get about six meters per second at max. Actually, before we leave, let's uh, see if we can make the crap yet. And once we make the crap, guys, there's a missable achievement we're gonna grab. I uh, don't think we have everything yet, do we? We need the electrical tape. So we need one electrical tape and two refined metal. We've got enough resources to build both of those. So we're going to create one electrical tape. And sorry, what was it? Two refined metal. Let's do that. Let's get this missable achievement out of the way. Yes, yes, babe. Enough out of you. All right, make the crap imposed by the developers. Exit the uh, processor, go into your inventory, go across to, oh, I don't know where, which section will be in, so we'll just uh, use our whole inventory. Find the crap imposed by developers, bind it to a slot. All right, now very important before you do anything else is make a manual save right here. So just make a save, then get out the crap imposed by developers, press A to hit yourself once you've got control again. I'm just going to let him talk. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. Okay, press A to hit yourself, and you want to do this three times. And one more time, you'll get the concussion achievement. You see there that we actually lost uh, a little bit of health. That's why I said make a save. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna load that save back up. Go to, go to, hang on, it's not letting me. Oh, we have to install it first, do we? Sure, we'll just confirm that. I didn't know it wasn't gonna let me save it. Uh, so then we're gonna press, uh, press pause once again and load and press Y to load manual save. Okay, now we're back here before we actually got the uh, thingamajiggy out. The electrical stimulation is complete. Having traced your brain's activity while you were working, your brain was stimulated with small electrical charges to improve your engineering skills. Judging by the result, it didn't work and caused a number of hallucinations. However, it was entertaining. You still can't get past the radiation, but I will mark the coordinates of the rescuers for useless motivation. And I'm just going to install the crap. You never need it again, guys. It literally was for absolutely no reason whatsoever. So just put it wherever you want it. And you'll see now that our new objective is to get to the evacuation point. If you look at the objective marker, it is 1,618 meters away. We, there's no way we can get there with our current oxygen levels and things like that. So we're going to go and collect a few more resources and a few other things. We're going to be able to build bigger oxy oxygen tanks. We're also going to be able to build like a um, transportable oxygen reserve, stuff like that. That's going to allow us to get to that e evacuation point. And that actually ends chapter one once you get to that evacuation point. Uh, but we've got a few other things to do here before we do that. Let's go outside. And what we're gonna do now is get another missable achievement, guys. Go straight outside and almost straight down to where you see this pink uh, part of the wreckage. Head straight down. Well, I don't know why I don't have my scrapper out. Use your booster as much as you can to get down here or your accelerator, whatever you wanna call it. And here, first thing we're going to do is grab a light bulb out of there and some scissors from right in the uh, family jewels. Now, we're going to examine the condom on his head. We're going to examine the... Um, sorry, we're going to take the condom off his head. going to examine the bloody, no, uh, bloody hammer. A hammer covered in blood. The victim is also stained in blood. going to go to this table over here and examine the card on the table or the note. 
I'm gonna take that. It's written by a woman who can professionally handle stationary items. And behind the bed, we're gonna find, hang on, oh, another pair of scissors, grab those, that's important. This uh, box of condoms, examine that. I think it's, oh no, it's something else. And you'll get the Sherlock achievement. Now I'm just gonna look for some other goodies the evidence is collected. right before our breath runs out. So grab this. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. Grab everything. And then we gotta make a, a run for it. Oops, I accidentally picked up ice. All right, make it back to your ship. Uh oh, this is gonna be close. Super close. It's gonna be worse than close. We're gonna fail. All right, but go inside. We got the uh, Sherlock achievement. If you lost a little bit of health, like I mentioned earlier, you can have a little sleep. It'll fill your health back up. You will get hungry and thirst, hungrier and thirstier. If that's okay. Those are at all pretty good levels still. And we got that Sherlock achievement. And our, health, our breath is full again. Let's go and get another missable achievement, guys. I believe it's missable. Oh, actually, you probably do have to do this at some point during the game. Head behind the main station. You'll see these three electric cables behind here. What you want to do is head up to each and every one of them and hold A to neutralize the three cables. There's one. Vacuum breakdowns. An electric shock of such power. There's the two. And I can't guarantee the safety of your corpse before. And there the is three. I'm just gonna break this. I just realized we actually were gonna make something before we came out here. Break one of these, grab everything. Let's break this. We have to get something that's a little bit further than this, but we need to go back for breath anyway. So now head back to your own shuttle. I don't know if we've got the blueprint for it yet. Let me just double check. I wanna see if we can make shears. Yes, we can. We're going to make just one set of shears for now. Uh, before we go outside, we're going to equip those shears that we just made. Uh, I'm going to uh, bind that where I want it and bind that there. Okay, equip the shears, head outside and back to where we just came from. The reason for that is we can cut these rubber panels and extract the rubber to make more tape and things later. So grab those. Uh, then get the scrapper out. Hang on, I just saw a big hunk of metal here. Where was it? I did, didn't I? There it is. There it is. We're going to uh, grab some more metal while we're here. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, is that my first yum, yum, yum of the playthrough? Heh, <laughs> heh, Uh, we're going to grab this thingy. Always got some good... Yeah, some batteries. We're gonna need those. Uh, I think that's it. Oh, let's grab this while we're here. Yes, yes, yes. We'll be right. We'll be right. Grab everything from in that and then head back inside. Once inside here, we can actually cut these panels here for some more fabric. We'll need lots of fabric later. So whenever you can collect fabric, make sure you do. Alright, and then head inside. Uh, was I going to make another scrapper or two? Let's see. Yes, and what do we need to make the drill? We just need some electrical tape. We're going to make the drill. Uh, so, create some electrical tape. Make the drill. Just one drill for now. And we're going to make another, what, two, we'll make three more scrappers. Yes, three, you heard me right, we're going to need lots of these scrappers for this starting location, guys. Alright, that will do for now. Uh, we'll equip the drill, or put the drill in the correct spot. Have it ready to be 
gotten to, if that makes any sense, and back for another trip. And because we just used a heap of our metal, we need to stock up on more metal. We haven't got that 48 pieces of metal yet. Uh, but before I forget to, there was something over here that we didn't grab. And that was whenever you see these on the side of asteroids, you can use your drill that we just created to extract aluminium from there. And okay, so now we're gonna be grabbing as much metal as we can. We'll grab our scrapper out. Now I don't have a set route for all this metal guys, mostly because I feel like it's kind of random. Oh, no, that's ice, that is not aluminium. So we're gonna uh, just find as much of this metal as we can. So we run out of breath. There's another one there. And whenever I see containers like this, we're going to uh, deal with those as well. Because they have good random items. I don't know if you'll be getting the same items as me. Uh, but that's... I do usually get extras. Oh, okay. Back to the shuttle. And we'll head straight back out and get some more metal. Oh, 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 oh. Get in! Oh, cheapers. Wait for our breath to restart. And then go straight back out. Oh, what's that? Oh, that's just a mug. You can examine that if you want to. <clears throat> I thought I saw some metal. Jeez, I'm going a bit far for this one. We'll grab this plastic on our way past. And we'll grab this metal all the way out here. Luckily, I've got some more scrappers. Told you we made them for a reason. Uh, get your scrapper back out. That's going to cost me some breath. Oh, well. Grab all that metal. One underneath here. I want to make a total of eight scrappers, um, including the three we just made. So five more scrappers, I think it is. Uh, back in the shuttle. Wait for the breath again. And back out. I saw some big chunks of metal sort of up above. Now, Amy shuttle. The advertisement of the Global Funeral Agency. She looks good even without her head, but I wouldn't recommend touching the picture as it could be regarded as sexual harassment. Oh, sexual harassment, really? Uh, there's another one there. Oh, oh, don't forget all the pieces. And I think I saw another metal. Was it under here? No, where is it? I thought there was more here. There's one all the way out there, but we're gonna need air before we go out there. Let's get air. All right, where was that? Over here. Let's get this metal here. Oh, and don't forget to pick up the, uh, you can still pick up the, uh, stragglers. In fact, they're better to pick up because they don't ruin your scrapper to get them. But obviously they're not as plentiful. All right, I'm just looking around, looking around, looking around. Let's see how many more scrappers I can make. Oh, what's that? Or is that just a cardboard box? It's just a cardboard box. Dang it. All right. Go back in. Oh, was that metal? No, that's goo. That's to make food. Uh, we'll worry about that later. How many more scrappers can we make? That is enough to make the five that we want. Let's make five more scrappers and then we're done with metal, I think. I've, I actually lost count. I was uh, reading my notes. I think that's five. In fact, that is definitely five because we were on 21, now we're on six, six. So perfect. We've made another five of those. 
We made the shears, we made the drill, and we made the accelerator. That is all on my list. Babe is still messaging us. She's a bit crazy, if you if you don't mind me saying. All right. Okay, now this next trip outside, guys, is actually really, really important. Uh, we are going to be heading um, down below. We're going to go to a wreck down below. We're going to find an oxygen balloon, which will give us a blueprint. Uh, it's actually a condom blown up. And we're also going to find a, these things called oxygen candles, which will give us a blueprint for that. Uh, if we use an oxygen candle when we're out there, it'll slightly fill our breath meter without having to come back in here. We're going to keep that in mind as we head across to another wreck where we're going to need to look at a scanner to get the blueprint for that. But then we're going to need to smash open a door. We're going to need a second scrapper. This scrapper is not going to get the job done. So I'm just going to equip another scrapper to another inventory slot and have it ready to go. And inside, once we smash open that door, uh, it's probably halfway through smashing that door, we're going to need to use an oxygen candle. Once we smash open that door, we're going to go inside and examine an oxygen generator. With all that done, we should be able to make it back here to, to safety once again. Let's go do that. All right, so look straight down and to the left, use our boost to get down here. We're gonna look at the this. Condom in the world and uh, also, we're gonna grab a wire while we're down here. I nearly There's forgot no to data mention on that. So we're gonna look, uh, we're gonna grab these oxygen candles. We'll get the blueprint for that. We're gonna examine the inflated condom. That gives us the oxygen balloon blueprint. That's super, super important. Get any other oxygen candles lying around, then do a bit of a 180 uh, and down a bit. Head over to this door over here. The service supply compartment. Accidentally Almost grabbed intact. through as well. Here, what we want to do is look at this scanner. We can't scan it because we don't have a scanner. And then we want to start smashing open this door, keeping an eye on our oxygen. We're allowed to let it run out. Uh, don't use the oxygen candle until we really, really, really need it. Uh, grab my other, other scrapper out. Bash away. Keeping an eye on my oxygen. It's low enough now. We're going to go into our menu. We're going to use, using the X button, use an oxygen candle there. Complete smashing the door open. No mistake here. Examine the oxygen station. I think I said generator earlier. It's a anyway, station. This matter anymore. Got At that confused. You, how to assemble one. Uh, you can go over here, like quickly neutralize <laughs> this, and grab that. We also want to use our plates to extract some... Oh, I didn't realize we got oxygen while we're in here. I was always in a hurry in here. Okay, we've got oxygen in here. Uh, we want to get as much rubber as we can from in here. I think that's all of it. All right, so no more rubber to get. Uh, we're going to use this to extract the rubber from these. And we can now make our way back safely, I believe. Just let me double check that we've got everything. Nothing on the ceiling is there. No. All right. Make it back to the ship. Don't take goo like I accidentally did. I mean, you could. You can make some um, nutrition packages with it, I guess. All right, head inside. Now, with all that stuff done, guys, and all those uh, new blueprints, we're going to head in here, and we're going to actually make a few things. We're going to make one oxygen candle, really just because we can, although we picked up a few. Um, we're just going to make one spare one for now. If you've picked up ice and goo, you can now make nutritious goo. I think you could also make a bottle of water if you had enough ice, but we've picked up a few bottles of water. I'm just going to make a nutritious goo, basically just to get rid of that goo out of my inventory rather than just dropping it. Um, so you don't necessarily have to make one of those. I'm also going to make as many rolls of fabric uh, as I can so far with the fabric we've collected. So that's two of those. And what we really came here for, what we really, really want, and the reason we did that little trip outside just then, was for this oxygen balloon. You can see there, we need the condoms that we collected over at that murder scene for that um, missable achievement. We need wire that we've been collecting. We've collected more than two plastic. And we also need electrical tape, which we use the rubber we just collected to make. So create an electrical tape. And then we can create 
the oxygen balloon. Create that. Don't forget to equip that in just a moment. But we're also, before we do anything else, we're also going to make a scanner. So create the scanner. We'll be using that a lot throughout the playthrough. And I think that's all we want to make for now. We are going to, like I said, don't forget to equip that oxygen balloon. And you'll see here that our oxygen goes up from 75 up to 125. It adds 50. There we go. We've got the oxygen balloon equipped as well. And now, guys, we're going to go make a very important uh, trip. I'm just going to change where I've got that equipped. Um, we're going to go make a very important trip for our final missable achievement before we end this video, guys. Uh, before we do that, actually, let's get the scanner out and use that for the first time. Uh, equip that. Get the scanner out. Use it to scan this first aid kit. Then you can pick up the, the first aid kit. The is damaged and is operating in reverse mode. The toilet can suck up. Oh, you can't pick that one up. I actually never knew that. I don't. Not sure if I ever. I thought I did pick it up in practice runs. We're gonna scan this plant. Not really, because we're ever gonna use. I mean, you can use that to decorate your base later. Yes, there is base building in this game, guys. Uh, I swear we're normally allowed to pick that up, but obviously not this time. Doesn't matter. We are going to go make this very, very important trip uh, to go grab our final missable achievement before we end this video. So head outside, and we're going to go behind our start shuttle, back past uh, where we uh, stop those three wires. Going to go as quickly as we can. And you're going to head out this way. And the first thing we're going to grab when we get out here, uh, we're going to find the underpants. And we're going to get, uh, I forget the name of the achievement. Uh, straight ahead here, you'll see underpants. Like right there, sure there they are. A lot of useless things, most of which were stolen Make before. sure you examine the underpants. And take them, and you'll get the multi-layered achievement. I'm going to quickly destroy some of these containers and get some loot. Uh, I think there's another container here. Grab this loot. And keep collecting a few things here until you've got about 20 oxygen left. Once you've got 20 oxygen left, you're going to need to leave and head back to the shuttle. We'll grab some metal while we're here. Sometimes I'm really bad at actually steering the uh, where we want to be in terms of picking these things up, but there we go. Any more? Let's get this metal. Come on. We're gonna have to head back real soon. Is that all of that? Now I did see a wire and something here. We'll get this metal. Let's just neutralize that. I don't think we can actually get wires there. Okay. We're going to get this plastic though. And we are going to head back. Hopefully I didn't take too long. Now you see there that we are very thirsty. I'm not sure if the game warned us yet. I might just miss making it back in time. I left it too long. I knew it was about 20. I knew we needed about 20 breath, but obviously... I think I had about 18 when I left. I've almost made it too. Okay, we're gonna quickly rest. Okay, it'll automatically wake up once your health is full. Uh, we are gonna go into our food items. We are going to have a drink. We're gonna have a couple of drinks. Make that three drinks. And two bits of food or nutritious nutrition package, and then we'll leave it at that. That is going to be the end of the video, guys. I want to thank you all so, so much for watching. If you're finding it helpful and you're going to enjoy this series, please remember to drop us a like, post a comment down below. Let me know that you want to see more of this sort of stuff. Uh, and if you can support me over on Patreon, become a member of Aussie's Army for just one dollar. Really helps me make guides like this, guys, because this is a lot of work. This is only video one and I have put in over 100 hours of work into this game so far. 
takes a lot of work. I need all the support I can get to keep making them, guys. So please head over to Patreon. There's the bell. You know what that means. Class dismissed.